Hello again. Now we're going to look at ProQuest one more time, but this time using some of the other focuses that I saw in your AI generation. So there were some some very cool topics like um, education. Is it uh, has it changed now in the time of the internet? Can students learn more from deep dives? Especially, let's remember if they learn how to assess the validity and reliability of what they find on the internet, like we discovered through the SIFT method in that library workshop. That was one question. Can you learn more through just educating yourself on the internet than you can in a classroom? Uh, what are the effects of parental treatment or attitude on children during child rearing? How can you best learn how to draw? What are the ways to enhance your skills as um, an artist? What are the ways to improve your racetrack time if you uh, if you race cars? And um, how do you efficiently and successfully launch and promote a restaurant? So we had an incredible array of questions, and let's go deeper into those. As usual, we're going to go into the library. We're going to scroll down to database A to Z, and go down to ProQuest. And now I do want to show you what it's like to be using the peer reviewed options. So we are going to go ahead and use peer reviewed. So click on that. And then I'm going to try. Remember, with ProQuest, you have to bind anything more than one search word together. Now it says here parental treatment and child development don't actually turn up. So straight away, you want to go back and you want to modify the research. So uh, we want to put in, just let's put in parent. I'm going to put in an asterisk, which means that it could be, it could end in anything from parents to parental. Um, and I'm going to take it, I'm going to leave it in the abstract right now, and I'm going to put in child development. Let's see what we get. So we only got 1,700 results, 1,751, learning through play and mental health and well-being in children and adolescents. And we know that the word parent has to turn up in our abstract. And the abstract, remember, you'll, you can find by clicking on Quick Look. So we look through here, and of course we find the word parent right here. Parent teacher interaction. So that's an interesting search term too. We could then click here to see the full document if we want. But again, as we saw in your earlier instructional video, you can just look through the first 20 to 50 of these. They're sorted by relevance. You could also sort them by the most recently published first. But let's glance through relevance first. Now you'll notice that several of these are actually in countries other than the United States. So if we wanted to know only about research that related to the United States, we could add a row and could put in United States. Or, you know, if you wanted to know about a specific group, so supposing you wanted to know about Armenian Americans or Mexican Americans, Salvadoran Americans, um, uh, Peruvian Americans, and on and on. You could name a group. Let's try adding Mexican American. And we got 50 results. 50. So we do see some interesting titles of articles here, but we also see the different titles of the journals. And you do want to make sure that you're looking into the titles of the journals to see if there is something that signals to you that it will be highly relevant or not relevant at all. Let's have a look at some other of these topics and see if we can do anything scholarly to uh, identify information that could be supportive of a research project in, for example, something like uh, promoting a restaurant or learning how to draw. Let's have a look. Now in this one, I just put in two terms that I wanted to see in the abstract, new business and restaurant. And co-creation of, these are all uh, 
these are all scholarly, as you see. I decided to see if we could get any scholarly sources on promoting a successful business. So let's have a quick look through these titles. Co-creation of sustainable tourism and hospitality, challenges to obtain halal certification, cost benefit analysis of reusable takeaway food containers, um, business incentive to reduce food losses in Japan. <laughs> So let's see what would happen if we did not look in scholarship and looked in general. What if we went back to ProQuest A through Z and went under B and had a look through whether or not there's anything business source elite and let's explore it. Let's see what if we put in restaurant. So if we just put in running a successful restaurant and we don't determine a field, we find something like my life in hospitality. That's an interesting option. And let's go back to ProQuest and see. I'm looking for something that would be relevant to this research into how to run a successful restaurant or how to improve the success. So I could also look at the source type. What do I want? Do I want magazines? Perhaps I want a business magazine, right? Reports? Trade journals? Maybe wire feeds and working papers. Let's just say that. So this time I received 194 results. That's kind of interesting. And I would want to read through some of these titles to see what might support um, my increased understanding of how to run or how to improve the success of my restaurant. And, and I'd have quite a bit that I could rely upon. All right, let's look into one other of the topics that came up. So I've tried a couple of different um, search terms. I'm going to try drawing and increase proficiency. I haven't designated the search uh, regions, so I haven't said that I want it to be in the abstract, but perhaps I should. Drawing. Um, and I might want to add artistry. So now I've got drawing and artistic in my abstracts and increased proficiency anywhere. Just for the fun of it, I'm going to try peer-reviewed to see what I get. So I'm going to search, but let me see. I might want to put it into artistic and aesthetic works. I might want to hear some blogs. Maybe these. Reports. I might include scholarly journals. Trade journals, why not? So let's have a look and see what kind of results I get. Nothing. All right, so you have to keep trying new ways. And now <laughs> I got two results um, by taking artistic out of the abstract, and I got learning through situated use of three-dimensional modeling and animation software in high school art classes, and the structure of military revolutions, which is fantastic. But I think I'm going to try something else as well. So one other thing that I might decide to do is go into Google Scholar. And let's see what Google Scholar has to say. Let's try learning to draw artistically as an adult. And always remembering that you want to make sure that on the right-hand column there is a PDF available, otherwise you may be asked to pay for that. So The Mind's Eyes, an auto-ethnographic exploration of learning to draw in adulthood, could be a good research source. And it's from 2022, and it's available for free. We can skip these because they aren't available. A New Beginning, Adults as Artists, that's a PDF. Studio Learning, Motivation, Competence, and the Development of Young Art Students' Talent and Creativity, PDF. So there we go. I hope these have been interesting explorations.